Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again, and today we're going to keep working on our Pro Tools tutorial videos. So today we're going to be learning the difference between edit groups and mix groups, so we keep on the same uh, series of videos related to groups, okay? So in the previous video we show you, or we demonstrated how to create a group with these two audio tracks, in this case kick one and kick two. Um, just to recap, uh, once they're selected and group is um, created, uh, you can do all these things depending on the parameters that you selected on your uh, the time that you created the group. Now, if you want to modify that, you can always go to your groups list, right click on it, and then modify. And you're going to have here your um, parameters, okay? Now, uh, let's talk about the type of groups, okay? We talked about edit, mix, and edit mix, okay? So, if if the group is just an edit group, the only thing that the group is going to affect is the way you edit the tracks, okay? Let me go ahead and make it edit. So, for example, um, right now they're grouped and it's set to an edit group. So, check this out. If I hover the mouse on top of that, as you can see, my playback is on both of them. If I click and drag, I'm dragging both audio clips. If I slice and drag, I'm slicing and dragging both clips, okay? If I do things like uh, tap to transients, as you can see, I'm tapping to transients on both tracks. So when will you need this? Well, let's say you're editing like drums and things like that. This is going to be super useful because if you're like slicing and then moving things around to edit, well, guess what? If you do it as a group, it's way easier because you're treating them all at the same time. You know what I mean? So uh, your work is going to be uh, way more efficient because you're working with multiple tracks at the same time. So when you make an edit, you do the edit on all of them. You don't have to go one by one. Okay? So that's one of the reasons you would use the edit group or one of the... Um, uh, let's say situations in which you're going to be using the edit group. Now let's go back to the groups, um, modify groups, and we have the mixed group. So on the mixed group, all of these parameters are, uh, let's say, uh, applied. Okay, why? Because when you're mixing, you're going to be using insert, you're going to be using volume, mute, panning, uh, sense. Um, mix attributes, automation modes, and so on and so forth. So let's demonstrate first volume and mute, okay? Very simple. If you mute them, if you mute one of the tracks and they're grouped, well, both of the tracks get muted. If you're in your mix window and you mute them, both of the tracks get muted, okay? Uh, volume. If you drag the fader up or down on one of the tracks, both tracks uh, get affected as far as volume. Uh, which, by the way, you can do that from the mix window or from the edit window if I had the I.O. Um, shown here, which let's go ahead and show real quick. Okay, so I can always drag the volume here, as you can see, and both go down and both go up. Okay. Now, um, let's go back here, modify. Now, inserts. Okay, let's demonstrate the inserts. Uh, we have... On our group, we're following the globals, right? So, as I said, the global is like a preset that we can apply to every single group if we want, or we can always just go to attributes and leave the globals and just set whatever we want. But let's just keep it in globals. So, we said insert A, we're controlling, uh, or we're, I guess, adding the controls to the group as well as the bypass. So, the way it works is if we're here in our mix window, and let's say that we add an EQ, and we have the EQ on both. Uh, tracks. Okay, we have the EQ here. This is a stock Abbott EQ. And then we have the same EQ on the other one. If we change one of the controls on one EQ, it's going to happen on the other one too. So for example, if I get this band here and I crank it up, as you can see, it's happening on both. Okay, it's happening on both. See that? Now if I bypass one of the EQs, both get bypassed. If I unbypass, then both get unbypassed. Okay? 
So, and that's just an insert A or the first lot because when I want to modify here, I only have that set for A. So on B, I can do whatever. They're not linked there. So things like record enable, input monitor, and solo, I can input monitor, both get selected. I can record enable, both get record enable. If I can solo them, both get soloed. If I mute them, both get muted. What else do we have here? Automation modes. So I can change the automation modes on one of them, like from read to write, and both will change. And then I can go to off, for example, both will go to off, go back to read, both go to read. Um, we can also do the sense, for example. Let's do send A. Let's do level, mute, and pan. Okay, so if we create a send here, let's say uh, we're gonna send this to a new track. Let's just call it uh, reverb, for example. And let's just really quick add a verb there. Just any verb. Here, let's do a D verb, for example. Okay, so that's D verb there. So, as you can see, I created the rebirth on one of them. Both It got created on both. Why? Because they're linked. So if I open the rebirth, uh, or I open the send, okay, I can open the send on kick one and kick two. As you can see, it's send A. If I crank it up, it gets cranked on both. The panning, uh, it's controlling both because they're linked from the group and then the mute. So that is the mix uh, the mix group. Now my recommendation, you, you when you create a group, you create them in mix slash edit. That way you have both functions at the same time. Not just the mix part, not just the edit part, but both. So that's the difference between edit and mix groups in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from BDMPC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.